guys, welcome to Classic TV Packs and Trivia. Thank you for being here. Uh, someone the other day in the comment section of a different channel asked if I could do something on the Twilight Zone. Told them to come over here, and I would have some over here. And so I figured, what the heck, I'll do another one. Uh, but this one's even cooler, in my opinion. Some behind-the-scenes photos. Always like these things. Um, and when I find them, I, I like to share them with you guys, because I just think they're really neat. Uh, you don't get to see these people like this, you know. You see them what's on TV. This is what they're really like. And I just think, let's take a look. Uh, we'll start with Rod Serling himself. He pauses for a cigarette and coffee between scenes during the filming of The Twilight Zone in a 1961 photo. Uh, Burgess Meredith pauses on the stage of the immortal Time Enough at Last, uh, giving us a fantastic glimpse at this detailed set. Uh, Peter Falk is hardly recognizable as Columbo here, playing a Castro-like dictator in the mirror. <clears throat> Actors Michael Fox and Douglas Spencer are being fitted for their two-headed Martian costume, as seen in Mr. Dingle the Strong. Will the real Anne Francis please stand up? Makeup artist Charles Sham applies some powder on the set of the After Hours to face of a dummy. Again on the set of After the After Hours, uh, directing Doug Hayes. Director Doug Hayes gives some notes on to Elizabeth Allen. Oh well, seemingly her mannequin. I like this one. Elizabeth Montgomery poses on the set of two, the first episode of season three. And here's Telly Savalas. He takes some time with the younger co-star and living doll, Tracy Stratford. Here's a little fun fact about uh, Tracy Stratford. Uh, she also voiced Lucy in A Charlie Brown Christmas. And here's Agnes Moorhead uh, showing her real feelings towards her tiny co-stars in The Invaders. Uh, Serling cracks a smile surrounded by the sinister, uh, sinister stars in Season 4 is The New Exhibit. Robert Mitchell, Milton Parsons, and David Bond. Art Carney of the Honeymooners takes a leaner on the set of Night of the Meek. Jesse White is the title character in Cavender is Coming, the comedy episode. Also featured a young Carol Burnett. Now you know that the guardian angel Cavender dresses in lavender. Trey Jackson and James Best, best known as Roscoe P. Coltrane of Dukes of Hazzard. Uh, get into action for the last rites of Jeff Myrtlebank. Cliff Robertson, starring in the role of a ventriloquist, chats with uh, Bethlyn Gray Center and uh, Sandra Warner of April 19, 1962, during a rehearsal of The Dummy. And here we see a color glimpse at the same episode. I didn't watch a lot of the Twilight Zone. I, the episodes I saw those were great. I just never is not my genre per se. Uh, but I know a lot of people that love the show, and and it's, well, the person in the comment section I asked for, uh, especially. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Uh, it's about bands that broke up on stage. Check it out. Please subscribe. Please subscribe here. Please like this video if you don't mind. You guys have a great day. God bless. I'm praying for you.